Welcome to another study of the Bible in its context, with that the world may know. The Bible is an absolutely fascinating book. God's great story reclaiming a broken world. One of the things that's amazing to me about that story is how often it intersects with the stories of other great cultures. Stand at the pyramids in Egypt and you discover the story was there. Come to Athens, the Parthenon, and the story came here too. It started in an unlikely way. God redeemed a group of slaves from Egypt and brought them to a desert mountain called Sinai. There, he commissioned them. He gave them a mission to be a kingdom of priests, a community of people who would put him on display by what they said and how they lived. He said, I will come and live among you be present with you. And I want you to live a holy life so that you show them who I am and what I'm like. Sometimes they did really well, think David and Ruth. Other times, not so well. Then God sent his son, also a Jewish man, who completed the task of redemption in his death and his resurrection and his ascension. And in the process, he called and trained a group of disciples, giving them the same mission Israel had always had. Be my witnesses, let your light shine, hallow my name, and then he sent them out to the greater world to show in words and in actions who he was and what he had done in his son Jesus. One of those disciples was the Apostle Paul, brilliant, trained in the book, passionate and intense, headed out to the Greco-Roman world to give them the news a new king has come, to mold and shape communities of priests who would put God on display. Unbelievable story, really. I want to invite you to join us. Discover unlikely people who believed that story people who resisted it because they had another king. In it, you will find yourself challenged to become part of the story. So come with us. We're going to those great Greek cities of Philippi and Thessalonica, discovering with Paul that we're called to live, that the world may know who God is.